Do you need a cleaver? Of course you do! In this video, I'll explain three kinds of cleaver-shaped knives and how you can use them each day. Hi there! I'm Naoto, one of the knife nerds at Knifewear, where we sharpen your mind about Japanese knives. This is a Chinese cleaver, a butcher cleaver, and a nakiri. Each one of these cleaver-shaped knives has qualities that can make your time in the kitchen so much more easier and more fun. Which one is the best for you? The Chinese-style cleaver is often the primary knife in China, functioning the way Western chefs would use a gyuto for. It's like a kitchen multi-tool. While some are designed for heavier or lighter work, you often see Chinese cleavers designed to do a bit of everything. From fine precision cut like a julienning carrot and mincing ginger to take apart whole chickens and fish. It may be a bit bigger and heavier than your average chef's knife, so it will take a bit time to get used to. Japanese made ones that we sell are called chuka bocho, which means Chinese kitchen knife in Japanese. Despite the popular belief, these chuka bochos are not necessarily for chopping into thick bones unless it's specified. Functionally, most chefs hold the Chinese cleaver like by the blade with two fingers along the side to help guide the blade. The butcher's cleaver is the muscle of the group. Made for the heavy-duty jobs the other knives can't handle. It's like an axe. It should be sharp, but not too sharp. Generally, they're made from softer steel than Japanese knives, so they won't chip as easily. They don't take as fine an edge, but they are far more rugged. This makes them amazing for bones and frozen food. When you use a butcher's cleaver, you want to get your hand further away from the blade and brace for impact. Generally, you are swinging it with some force, so safety is important here. Keep your left hand out of the way and get to work. The nakiri is your daily driver in the kitchen, perfect for making fine cuts and handling a huge mountains of prep. The nakiri was the primary kitchen knife in the Japanese household well before santoku was invented. It. The flat edge is so perfect for vegetables because it makes a cleaner cut when you hit the cutting board. Nakiri is much lighter and slimmer than other cleaver-shaped knives we sell. So you can make fine dice and julienne or Dice a 50-pound bag of potatoes for hash browns without hurting your wrist. Grab your nakiri by the blade and pinch it gently between your index finger and thumb. Cut by sliding the knife forward, picking it up slightly between each cut. With a little practice, you'll master this technique and turn into a chopping machine. So, as you can see, each cleaver has specific use that you can put to use based on the kind of work you do in the kitchen. What kind of cleaver do you think would be the most useful to you? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. If you like to learn about the knife that is combination of nakiri and chef's knife, check out this video about the kiritsuki.